chimpanzee poop, lumps of dirt, whale snot particles. Field scientists can collect thousands of samples for their research projects, each with their own important attributes that some poor lab assistant or grad student will need to categorize. And all that collecting and documenting can bleed into the world of software, too. Like databases and statistical software that let you test important questions, like whether killer whales have more snot than blue whales. Science is just so beautiful. But no matter what we're studying, the amount of information you have to keep track of can quickly get unwieldy. Google has potentially billions of users around the globe, and as a company, they keep track of unique data on each of those users. Think names, ages, email addresses, and so much more. In many cases, we don't just want to store all of this information. We want to do something with it, like perform the same calculation on every sample or sending every user the same update email. And we don't want our poor lab assistant to keel over on their keyboard. It's a nice keyboard. Whether you're dealing with whale snot or app users, an array list can come in super handy for these kinds of problems.